One of the best ways to get started with Electron is to download Electron Quick Start project from GitHub. We will do just that, so we will clone the repo, install the packages and run the app. Make sure you have JIT and Node.js installed. We need them for cloning the repo and for npm, node package manager. With npm, we will later install the dependencies of our electronic quick start project. We will begin by cloning electron quick start repo from GitHub. You can find it on GitHub by searching for electron quick start. Copy repo URL and type git clone in the terminal and paste the URL. Once the project is cloned, we can change directory to the name of the repo, in our case Electron Quick Start. The first thing we can do is to install the node packages by typing npm install. Let's open up our application in the code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code, which is also an Electron app. So we are developing Electron apps inside of an Electron app. In Electron, the process that runs package JSON main script is called the main process. The script that runs in the main process can display a GUI by creating web pages. Since Electron uses Chromium for displaying web pages, Chromium's multiprocess architecture is also used. Each web page in Electron runs in its own process, which is called the renderer process. In normal browsers, web pages usually run in a sandbox environment and are not allowed to access the native resources. But the Electron users, however, have the power to use Node.js APIs in web pages, allowing lower level operating system interactions. If we take a look at the project structure, we can see four important files. The first is package.json, a file which points to the app's main file and lists its details and dependencies. The second one is main.js, a file which starts the app and creates a browser window to render HTML. This is the app's main process. The third one is index.html, this is a file representing web page to render. This is the app's renderer process. And the fourth one is the renderer.js. This file will be executed in the renderer process of our application. Once the installation of packages is complete, we can start our application by running npm script called start by typing npm start.